Hello, I'm Luke Ford from the website LukeFord.net, and one of my favorite interviews for my book, The Producer's Profiles in Frustration, was with producer Daniel H. Blatt, and uh, I remember him choosing his words very carefully. He, he spoke like a lawyer, which he is, and uh, we sat down at his home on Monday, January 7th, 2002, to talk about his life and work. Daniel stands about five foot eight. He walks with a severe limp due to nerve damage in his right leg still plays golf regularly and the last time I saw Daniel Blatt was about a year and a half ago and uh, wanted to get a movie done on the Maccabees I think he, he'd, he'd written a script uh, he attended Phillips Andover Academy from 1951 to 55 and 1959 he graduated from Duke and 1962 from Northwestern University School of Law then worked uh, for the Civil Rights Group Lawyers Constitutional Defense Committee in Jackson, Mississippi, and uh, eventually burned out on the profession as lawyer. And from 1970 to 75, he was vice president of Palomar Pictures, overseeing the 1972 movie Sleuth, 1972's The Heartbreak Kid, 1974's The Taking of Pelham 123, and uh, 1974's The Stepford Wives. In uh, 1976, Blatt independently produced seven feature films after moving to Los Angeles in 76. I produced such films as Let's Get Harry, 1983's Cujo, 1982's Independence Day, 1980's The Howling, 1977's I Never Pr Promised You a Rose Garden, and uh, he's produced almost 30 TV movies, including uh, 1995's Kissinger and Nixon and 1999's The Virginian.